Hi, Professor David here with another video for you today. Guys, today's video, we are working off of a double punch, right? Double hook punch. To another level. There's a lot of things that go on when a person double hook punching, okay? You gotta expect double hook punching because when a guy throws one blow, the other one's coming out. One hand, the other hand's coming out in some form. It's this and uppercut, this and this, but most of the time people are head hunting. So you gotta pay attention to the other hand, the red glove. The double hook punch is coming. And if you're smart, you should be aware that it's coming and shut it down before it actually comes out. But sometimes we're not so lucky. Kenny, come on in here. Okay, so on the double hook punch, right? Now, how you got there, I don't know. But we're here, okay? This guy decides he's going to hold off and punch you in the face. Once again, instinctive movement is to move back. That's in us. That's in everybody, okay? Very few people. Very few people, unless you're one of those special people, you know, that you're walking around the city of New York or you or wherever you live, you're walking around just waiting for the opportunity to hurt somebody, to do what you practice. Most normal people don't live that way, okay? We're not walking around in anticipation to hurt somebody. So, with that said, that's why when you see somebody just talking to you and try to suck a punch, you'll come out, you, you move back. Once again, I just made a video that showed you the importance of seeing and the importance of moving in, training yourself to move forward when a person moves at you. You see, it's a concept of attacking the attacker. It is one of the Ten Commandments of Knife. Attack the attacker. So you got to understand that. So now, we have a drill we call touch. So if, if he tries to sucker punch me, I'm gonna touch, because I, see, Kenny didn't even get the punch out. I see this, and I was going. Why? Because motion causes, causes motion. motion. So when I see him ready to strike, start, I strike. I don't wait for him to strike. But now some of us, we're a little slow. You do understand that. So some of us are a little slow. So we're gonna wait for the strike. You see, but what happens when you wait for the strike? Guys, now this is delayed reaction, okay? This is like that new, those new cars. You know those new cars when you come to the light, it automatically shuts off? And then when you take your foot off the brake, the engine comes on and then it goes? It is not as fast as a guy whose car is running the light turns green and he just boom and he just go. You got to wait for your engine to cut on and then you can go. That's delayed reaction. This is delayed reaction. Blocking the strike and then now trying to react off of that. You see? If you were in them old time cars that just the engine's running, as soon as you see that coming, wham! I'm in. I'm just gone. I'm just gone. I'm into the man. Because why? The PhD. All the time I'm passionate. Boom! Ready to explode. Once I know I'm in a situation. I don't wait to get hurt before I try to then explode, then get emotional, then get passionate. No. No. It's too late. That's why it's self-offense and not self-defense. Back to the double punch. So when he strike once and he strike two, you can block both of them. So now you could block this and block that because a lot of you put a lot of emphasis and training into blocking. But after you block, what do you do? Most people, guys, and I see it all the time, will block and then try to throw that. See, you understand? So I want to punch him in the face, but I'm going to bring my hand back to punch him in the face, his hand's gonna get me before I get my hand. Let's just say this hand don't work. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do this, and then go, boom, boom, because I'm right-handed. No, it's too late. I can't block it, and then try to bring my hand back here to strike. That will 
come in before I get a chance to do what I need to do. So you have to practice the bounce. You have to practice the bounce. You have to practice coming off of here to here. You see? You have to practice when you throw that block, boom, bounce. And if you guys are throwing, if you guys are doing hard blocks, that hard block is gonna cause a hard reaction. So if I hard block, it's gonna cause a hard reaction. So once again, then if that's my style of blocking, and if you're a hard block, I'm not telling you to, that's wrong. I'm telling you if you do it, boom, you got a hard block with both hands. You can't hard block with one hand. You cannot, here. And then when you throw that one, here. And you throw that one, here. And that one, here. No, so when do you engage? If you're a hard blocker, be a hard striker at the same time. So it's not this, 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 this. It's when he strikes, boom, this. He strikes again, boom, that. He strikes, boom, I'm always, everything is hard. Everything is hard. Everything is hard. Every motion, I'm coming at it hard. Slow motion, please. If I block this hard, I'm going here. He swings it that, bang, I'm going there. He swings it that, bang, I'm going there. I'm going hard. Because that's what I practice. Okay? But you may be a soft blocker. What do I mean by a soft blocker? When he strikes, I'm just patting it away. I'm patting it away. So I'm just patting. So if you're the kind of guy that likes to pat it away, pat it away, pat it away, you're a soft blocker, then my suggestion to you is if you are gonna pat it away, then try your best to either touch while you pat it away. So when you pat the block away, blam, yep. you just, I'm just, see, I'm not striking him hard. What I'm doing is slow motion, Kenny. I'm using, I want to use his chest because I don't want to hurt him. So when he strikes, mm -hmm. that's all I'm doing. He strikes, that's all I'm doing. I'm doing, I'm just, I'm just slapping his like, like this. So now if I do that to your face, blah, you understand? I get him to little shock it, close his eyes. Now when he goes, blah, boom, blah, now I can engage him. Because if I'm a soft blocker, I'm gonna be a soft tapper. You understand? If I'm a hard blocker, I'm gonna be a hard attacker. Simultaneously. I'm gonna use them both the same way. So whatever you are, if you're the kind that practices the traditional karate system that, boom, you block to break, then you block to strike at the same time. If you're a kind of guy, you more of a system like a Kung Fu type of thing where now you're just patting, then you pat. Because all it takes, guys, is this. That's, it. That's all it takes. You do this to somebody's eyes. That's all it takes. If you're looking and you see, once he closes his eyes, that's your point. Get in. You're in. See, if you understand that, if you see. See, and you also use soft guys that pat soft. So when he strikes and I'm soft, then I'm going to just redirect but only, I can only redirect. So now watch this. I can't redirect while I'm moving forward. So if you're swinging and I do this, I can't redirect while I'm moving forward. So if I'm one of them soft blockers, so he's trying to hit me and I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna be way out here to redirect. So when he swings with that other one, I'm gonna be like, see I'm way out here. I could do it out here, but I can't do that redirect in here. I can only do that redirect I can only do that type of redirect while I'm moving backwards. And I gotta understand that when I move backwards, I'm gonna disengage and then I'm gonna engage. I'll grab it on the clothes or whatever I got to hold to use. So guys, these are the different methods of dealing with a double punch, okay? Something new for you to think about and practice. Something new for you to think about and practice. Let me say that again. Something new for you to think about and practice. I want you to practice right now doing what Kenny's telling you to do.
hit that subscribe button guys smash that subscribe button right now hit the notification bell so you'll be notified to all the new content that we have coming up if you're new to the channel guys thank you so much for joining guys we're going to bring you a whole bunch of content that's going to be of great value to you your family your friends share 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 guys guys and we, we, one we are million, putting one million we are putting together a really great package of information for the guy who knows nothing or the guy who knows everything so when you get this i promise you you're going to get so excited Man, your inside's gonna quiver. Your your liver's gonna quiver. You're gonna just be chuckling inside, like eating ice cream. You're gonna be so happy. So please look out for it. All right? Take care, guys. To another level.